Hi, this is Scott Weinke West. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to process this photograph in both Lightroom and On One Photo 10. Now, you can see this photo, this is from Seattle, and that's Mount Rainier in the distance. It's very hard to see, and that's one thing, in fact, the first thing I'm going to fix. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gradient tool from Lightroom, and I'm going to just draw a gradient along that, you know, the, that horizon. And just about there, it doesn't need to be perfect. And I am going to make sure all that's equaled out. And I'm going to start dehazing the sky like you see it just like so. And then uh, the hazing brings out some colors I don't like. So I'm actually going to reduce the saturation just a little bit as well, just so it's not so, you know, purpley in the sky and whatnot when it really wasn't. And then I'm going to bring down the highlights a little bit and bump up the contrast a little bit. And that's all I'm doing with that. You can see here if I do before and after, the only thing that has changed is the sky and you can see more of the mountain. Now I could even go a step further. Let's zoom in a little bit and I'm going to uh, just brush a little bit here on the mountain itself. And let's see how well I did. I'll hit the O key and yes, now you can see the actual mask that I just made and I'm going to zero that out by double clicking on effect and then I'm going to just bring up the contrast and bring down the exposure just of that one uh, area just about there and let's close out of that and zoom out. Now you can see it's, uh, it stands out a lot better than I did before. Now I have a couple ideas of what I want to do with this photo so I'm going to now bring it into on one uh, photo 10 into effects. So I'm going to uh, edit a copy in Profoto RGB and I'm going to let it prepare the file for editing. It's going to create the second, uh, or it's going to create a second file. Uh, it's a PSD file. It's going to bring it into On One Photo 10. And here you'll see once it loads On One Photo 10. And let's just make that full screen. All right. I'm not sure what the box is about. Let's actually cancel that. Now this is a beta, so um, you know there can be problems that come up. Let me just uh, re-edit that one more time. And I'll edit the original this time because it already made the copy. As you can see, it made the PSD file. Now it's gonna open on one photo 10 again, and that's much better. Okay, make that full screen. So um, the first thing I want to do is, let's see, what do I wanna do first? First thing I wanna do is add some some more contrast. So I'm going to actually uh, go to filters, dynamic contrast. Let's view this larger. I'm gonna hit some just natural contrast. And uh, let's see, what should we do? I actually think that's um, really nice. It added a nice little punch here. So you can see if I take off the preview, you can see it just added a little bit more punch there, but I don't need it to be at the sky because I don't want the sky to have more texture. So I'm actually going to take the mask and I'm going to create the mask over here, and let's take away that, hit the O key, we can see where the mask actually is. Let's adjust that, and okay. Now, uh, if I do the preview, you'll see that's only the bottom that has the actual, um, the, the actual you know, dynamic contrast for that layer, so that's good, that's all I needed. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to brighten it up, look like it was a sunnier day. It was kind of a sunny day, um, but uh, I, it could use a little bit of a little bit of a sunshine, if you will. So I'm literally going to choose the sunshine preset, right? So I'm, or the, the, the filter for sunshine. And uh, I'm going to add it over. Oops, I actually made a mistake. Let me undo that. Um, so this is for lesson number one in this is uh, when you in on one, make sure you hit add filter and then choose the filter or preset that you want because otherwise you're overriding what you already have. So, uh, so that's what I just had to do. I just added a new empty layer with that filter and it's gonna add sunshine to the overall photo. So now you can see it actually looks a lot brighter. So if I actually uncheck that, now watch again, I'm only unchecking the one, um, the one layer effect for sunshine 
and you'll see when I check it again, it just gets brighter as if it had more sunshine. So it's exactly what I wanted with this, but I'm actually gonna uh, maybe adjust it a little bit once it turns back on. Let's go to strong. And there might be one area that I want to mask away so that it's not uh, over the entire photo. Yeah, see, I like that a lot better. You can see the sky is nice and bright. I like the fact that it's actually um, a lot of just blown out white highlights in the sky because I want more of the attention to be on the bottom here and then also the mountain. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit and just not that much. I don't want to, I'm going to bring that opacity down. Let's see if I paint just a little bit. I want to bring back that detail in just the mountain. And I'm going to paint back in a little because I went too far. There we go. Now, there we go. So I just uh, brought that back a little bit. That's all I needed to do. I brought the opacity down for this masking brush down to 53, uh, just so that it's still getting some of the effect, but not all of it. Okay, so the next effect that I'm going to do is actually going to be Color Enhance, which uh, is going to be for the sky. So I'm going to go to the Color Enhancer filters. Let's look at them large. And I actually want the Sky Enhancer over here. Sky Enhancer is great for your common sky colors. But what it will do is it'll actually bring out those purples. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, bring down the temperature of the effect to be more of a blue. Okay, so watch how that uh, goes in a little bit. Once that loads now, I've got a lot going on here. I've got Lightroom open, I've got On One open. I actually have my recording software open. So there's multiple things open slowing down my laptop. So uh, that is something that's, notab that's notable that uh, it's not just On One that you're seeing is this little bit of delay. It's actually that I have so much going on right now on the computer that's actually slowing everything down. Okay, so you can see it actually brought some of that color back. So I'm actually going to change the temperature, bringing that a little bit closer to the blues. And then I'm also going to bring down the saturation as well. The last thing I want to do is I want to add uh, a little bit of a fun blur. So I'm going to go to the blur filters. And the one I want to add is blur top and bottom. And what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that everything above a certain point and below a certain point are blurred where, um, you know, the, the middle is kind of the focal point. And what that's going to do is you'll see here, this bottom part is going to be blur. Everything above the mountain is going to be blur. And then that nice middle point of focus, it's going to add this sort of tilt shift style look to the photo. And I just think it's kind of fun. It's not super realistic, but I actually like how it looks and I actually like it exactly where this, uh, blur preset added it, which is great. This blur filter. So, um, yeah, so that's a really fun and I actually really like this. I like how this ended up. So I'm going to hit apply and uh, Have it save once it just finishes doing the blur. Okay, I'm gonna hit apply It's gonna then bring it back into Lightroom and then I'll have the photo to work with in back inside of Lightroom again And it's a smart PSD file that on one uh, Photo 10 made so I can always open it back up again in on one and all of those filters will actually be there again just in the masks just the way I left them so that's how I used on one photo 10 for this specific photo. Again, I wanted to enhance that mountain. And here you can see it's loading back up in Lightroom, uh, enhance the mountain a little bit, uh, add some color back to the sky, but also bring out the bottom portion, uh, make it look a little brighter and a little bit more lively. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.